Is it possible to give a lifelong career to a person destined for perpetual unemployment and poverty? Is it possible to raise someone's standard of living? Is it possible to give someone mobility who would have none at all? Is it possible to direct a child's life from continuing trouble to hope and happiness? LifeNets has answered all these and many more quality of life questions with a very big yes. LifeNets was founded in 1999 when Victor Kubik, an ordained minister and Rotarian, traveled to the Chernobyl area and helped with the establishment of the Revival Center for the Rehabilitation of Disabled Children. With the support of others, he helped pioneering doctors set up a center for the rehabilitation of children suffering from the effects of the world's worst nuclear disaster. This center has won national awards and has become a model for other similar centers in Ukraine. On the 20th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster in 2006, the Rotarian magazine featured the work of LifeNets in Chernobyl. In January of 2010, the President of Ukraine visited the center. Since 2001, the LifeNet's Developing Nations Scholarship Program has helped many young people realize their dreams. A scholarship has provided them a profession that can benefit them for the rest of their lives. We have helped young people become architects, accountants, computer specialists, teachers, and more. Our young people become pillars in their churches and in their communities. They help lift others up. Our scholarships average about $1,600 a year per student. More than 40 students are now receiving grants from LifeNets. We thank everyone who has helped give these young people a future. Without you, they would not be able to go to college. Listen to what a few of our students have to say. Uh, my name is uh, Therapy. I'm coming from Lusaka, Zambia. And I'm, I'm at the University of Zambia studying economics. At the end of my study, I would love to become an economist and probably work in a bank as a finance manager or something, or an economist. And I would love to thank uh, LifeNets for the sponsorship they're giving me. It has helped a lot. As I still continue my study, which is uh, four years, I would love to thank them very much. Rika, um, I studied at the Durban University of Technology to uh, get my National Diploma in Mechanical Engineering. I would just like to thank LifeNets for the support. Um, it's helped my family in, uh, with financial needs, and it's uh, helped me to achieve my goal. Um, and the thing I like my, about LifeNets the most is that it's a great organization able to change people's lives. There's not a lot of bureaucracy and things you got to cut through. The money gets to the people and lives really are changed. What I like most, I really like the scholarship program. I think that's such a great value for the money and it's great to see young people get a chance to go to college and get a chance to change their lives. Um, the thing that I like the most about LifeNets is that it's helping people to help themselves. Instead of just giving a handout to someone, it's giving money or support, but it's also teaching them to be able to help themselves to become self-sustaining so that over time, LifeNets involvement will hopefully uh, grow less important. Um, I'm very, very um, interested in the programs that are in Ukraine, the Light of Love mission in Vinogradov, and also the uh, clinic in Chernihiv. Uh, for rehabilitating children. The thing I really like about LifeNets is that it helps people help themselves. It gives them an opportunity to learn skills where they can help in their communities. Uh, in Africa, I really like the GOAT program and the Heifer program where people uh, get an animal and then they're able to uh, uh, provide for their own needs and also help someone else uh, by giving them the firstborn given. Uh, in Ukraine, uh, I really like the uh, opportunity to go there for two weeks the last two years and teach English. Uh, a team of four of us uh, taught English to street children and uh, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, it will help the children have an edge. What I like is that it's a charity, but it doesn't just give handouts to people, but rather it helps them to be self-sufficient themselves. And so giving people a scholarship helps them to uh, build their whole life up and become self-sufficient and hopefully be able to pass that on and be, uh, 
be benefits to other people and help other people out down the My road. favorite thing about Life Nets is they are different from a traditional charitable organization in that rather than just giving people something to make their lives better, they give them the opportunity. I think it's summed up in the phrase, rather than giving a man a fish, teach him how to fish. I love not life nets because they, um, for instance, my daughter uh, had the opportunity to go to the Ukraine and go to Eastern Europe and, uh, meet the street children and um, be a part of an experience the that was the most is that it touches people's lives, not only in helping them, but helping them to be able to then help others. And then the project that I like the most, um, I'm probably most excited about the school that we're looking toward um, helping to build in Malawi and um, just being able to affect many more people and help them to get the education that they need. Our mission, LifeNets is a not-for-profit charitable organization that develops programs offering practical assistance to promote the well-being and self-sufficiency of disadvantaged people throughout the world and, where possible, encourages them to pass on the benefits to others.